I'm making this video at uh, six o'clock in the morning. But if you guys like what you do, like I do, it doesn't matter because you love this part of it. Hey, what is going on? Draw it to crew. Ramney here with a brand new drawing tutorial video. And this time we are going to be tackling Iron Man as he appears in Avengers Infinity War. And I'm sure you guys have been waiting waiting, waiting for this tutorial. Before we get started, you guys, if you are brand new to this channel, welcome. And here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, video games, TV shows, comics, and books, etc., etc. So if you guys like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also the notification bell so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a brand new tutorial video. So it's been 10 years since Robert Downey Jr. has uh, landed the role of Tony Stark slash Iron Man in the very first Iron Man movie, which kicks off, kicked off the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe back in 2008. And uh, I mean, seriously, it's been a really long time and there's no doubt in anyone's mind that there's nobody else who can play the character of Tony Stark uh, other than Robert Downey Jr. So um, collectively, I'm sure we are all sad to see Robert Downey Jr. go. But what does that mean uh, for the character of Iron Man? Are they going to replace him with a new actor? Are they going to pass on the mantle of Iron Man to another character? Are they just going to not have Iron Man anymore in the MCU. It's kind of nerve wracking to be honest with you because I would, uh, as a fan, I would love to see more Iron Man. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think Marvel should do with Robert Downey Jr.'s contract expiring after Infinity War. Let me know in the comments. So are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you're going to need for this tutorial. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different sized nibs for inking. As you guys are watching this, remember three things. Number one, if you feel like my video is going way too fast, feel free to hit that pause button. And also at the bottom right, if you guys are on your computers, at the bottom right is a speed button as well so that you can slow down the rate of this video playback. Number two, there is a lot of detail in this Iron Man armor. So in order for me to, you know, make a re make a reasonable uh, video length, uh, I had to cut back on some of the details. So feel free to add all of that back in if you need. So add more details if you want, omit some details if you need. That's fine too. It's your drawing and it's completely up to you, of course. And number three, if your drawings look nothing like mine, um, don't worry. That is completely fine. It's all part of the growing process. So don't worry about it. Just do your best. And uh, having said all of that, you guys, let's get right on with the tutorial. So you guys, for this Iron Man tutorial, I've got my paper in landscape mode, but it doesn't really matter whether you have it in portrait or landscape. I just choose to have it this way and it's completely fine. We're only going to be drawing up to the waist anyway. So uh, we'll try to make this as quick as possible. We are going to add a lot of details. So let's go ahead and get started on that, you guys. So the first thing we're going to draw is I'm going to be drawing a circle at the top of the page, just like this. And again, these initial lines, you want to draw them lightly. You don't want to go too dark on them right away. Okay, so there's the circle right there. And, what, and now what we want to do is we want to draw the sides tapering in. On this side, he's going to be looking slightly this way. So what we want to do is let's just draw a line going this way. So that's, that's the center of the face there. Here's the chin and then the jaw. Okay, so this has this prominent jawline. This one does not, you don't see much of it. Okay, so that's that. Draw the neck going down straight. And again, over here, not too much. So what we wanna do now is we want to create the general outline of the figure first, right? The, the shapes that make up the, uh, the torso and the arms and stuff. And we have to pay close attention because this is a very elegantly designed um, costume or, or armor. So we want to create as nice lines as possible so that uh, when we start getting and filling in the details, it'll look, it won't, it'll look proportional and it'll look right. Okay. 
shoulders going out like this. Not too much, about that much. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to create a line going straight this way. Okay, here's the center line that we want to draw. This one goes slightly up like this. This one just goes straight like that. All right, now let's draw in a torso. I'm going to draw that first. It looks a little weird right now, but that's fine because this particular armor has a, a broad chest that sticks out a little bit more than usual. Okay, here's the curve for the shoulder. And here's the curve for the other shoulder. Now you don't want to make these too big, but they are slightly bigger. So you want to make them about just a tad smaller than the head. So here's the head size. You want to make sure that your shoulders aren't so big that they're bigger than the head, but you want, you kind of want them to be about the same size as the head. So I'm going to draw this as a curve going out like this. I actually want this arm going this way. So there's that. Let's make it a teardrop shape. So it looks like that. And this one's just a half circle, not even a half circle. It's a half oval. Okay. Here's the chest. What we want to do is we want to kind of draw a line that shows the bottom of like the, the bottom part of the chest here. And we're just going to draw like this. There you go. Okay, we want that center line to go this way across that chest there. Okay, this goes in and then kind of straight down. Like that and then over here we see the back side right here it goes in and then down like this so at this point uh, you guys notice or you guys notice in my drawing anyway that the head is too small for the body so what I want to do is I want to make that smaller so you guys should also pay close attention to the proportions in your drawings so that they're not too uh, they're they're not they're not out of proportion so you you want to pay close attention to that. So take a step back, look at your drawings. Here, I'm going to make the head slightly bigger here to compensate. So no big deal, just slight alterations sometimes make the difference. So just made this slightly bigger to compensate for the bigger torso that I kind of drew there. Okay, and then this kind of goes back out here and here. And then let's draw the arms. Now this goes down. So I'm just going to draw a curve for the bicep. And then you want the arm to come out this way. Okay, so we'll fix that later on. Okay, over here, let's go to the uh, where the chest meets the shoulder. You want to make sure that the biceps are kind of aligned. I'm going to make this one a little bit higher. There you go. And then down like this. Okay, so here's the general shape for Iron Man. I'm going to continue this line going straight down like this so that we know this, the where the center line is going to go. And once you have that, you guys, we are ready to get on with the details on Iron Man. So again, make sure that your proportions are right. You want to make sure that the head isn't too small, the body's not too big, that kind of thing. You don't want the shoulders bigger than the head. So pay close attention to all of those. Okay, once you have that, I'm going to switch to a sharper pencil and I'm going to zoom in on the face. So let's get started with the helmet first. Try to zoom in as much as I possibly can. There you go. Okay, so we we need to get this right from the get-go because you can kind of tell if Iron Man's head isn't the right proportions. Like if it doesn't, if the lines are off, you can kind of, you can tell. It's pretty obvious. So let's get this right first. So the first thing we're going to draw is we're going to try to um, draw draw the eye line and then figure out the faceplate compared to like faceplate away from the helmet itself. So eye line first. I, drew the, I erased the center line. 
Let's draw that back in and then figure out the eye line. This is where it is right there. Okay. From the eye line, I'm going to draw small lines right here. And then they kind of, they open up. So the top line follows that eye line and then the bottom goes down like this and like this. And then tiny little line and then diagonal line like this. Okay, so make this eye longer than this eye. There you go. So you want this eye to almost be near the edge there. And it's fine if you feel like your head's too small, you can make it even bigger if you need to. Um, just make sure that it looks right compared to the rest of the body, right? So I'm gonna draw, draw in that line in the center. You wanna keep that. Okay, from here, let's start drawing in the face plate. I'm gonna start from here first, goes curves like this and then goes out like that. Okay, you kinda wanna do the same thing over here and then goes out. It kinda makes a straight line, not a curve. So it goes out like this and then goes curve. And then it curves right here. And then what you want to do is you want to create this V shape. So draw two lines like this, and then they make this V shape going down like that. Okay, just fix it up. There. Okay, I'm going to draw a line here. And then just a, a line going just above the brow. like that. Okay, and then exhaust ports right here. So I'm just gonna draw black rectangles there and over here. Okay, so that's good. So let's go to this line now and let's make it go this way. Leave it like that for now. We'll do the same thing on this side. Now we're gonna draw the cheeks. So here are the cheeks. Go straight down and then this goes in and just draw a line to the um, the chin like that. Okay, same thing over here. Let's draw a line from here. You wanna you wanna keep this cheek bump here the same as here. So you wanna make sure that they are aligned together. So this and this right here should be about the same. But continue this this way and then make it go up. This goes up and then goes to the side of the head like this. Okay, close that off. There's an exhaust port right here, which also looks like the ear. So I'm going to draw a line going out. Okay, I'm going to color that in darker. And then just make that, make this stick out slightly. and then goes down the side. Maybe like that for now. Let's go to the face again. Just fixing that line there. What you wanna do is you want to go back over here and then draw a line kind of next to that initial line. And same thing over here, start right here. You wanna draw a line above. You want it to go in like this. So that's a faint line. Okay, so now let's figure out where the mouth is going to go. So I'm going to draw a line going across right here. Actually, let's, I'm going to bring that a little bit lower. Looks too high up. Right here. Okay, and then it goes down right here and here and then across. Okay. There you go. I fixed that up a little bit. Okay. So now let's go over here and let's figure out the, the, he's also got like an exhaust port where the cheek is. Okay. Line like this, line going down and you want it to go lower than this. So let's go from here this way and then this way. So it creates this hexagonal kind of shape here. 
and then let's just draw a line going down the middle. But that's that's all kind of let's make that a faint line. You don't want it too prominent. Okay, so now let's go on this side. Let's sort of see it like that. So it's just very, very thin sliver. Let's go back over here. Let's draw the the, the jawline. Jawline goes down. Jawline goes down here. Okay, now another line over here. This goes down this way and this way. And this goes, connects to that line there or that little corner right here, I should mean. Okay, very good. So let me erase the jawline a little bit. Let's fix up the jaw. I'm gonna bring this in slightly. So drawing is all about, you know, just fixing things. You don't have to get every line perfect each time. So even myself, I still make a lot of these mistakes here. Okay, so here's the bottom of the uh, jaw the chin here so I'm going to create this shape and then just down like this and then from here to there the most important thing is this angle right here you just you want it a little bit further in than the cheekbone so you want this one going more in this way okay there you go now let's fix the head Let's give it a bit of a squarish looking head so it's not so round. I'm gonna bring it up slightly and there. You spend a lot of time on the head, but you know, like I said, if you don't get the head right, if you don't get the face right, it just won't look like Iron Man so much. So I hope you guys got all of that. Let's go zoom out and work on the, the neck and the chest. All right. Now let's work on the neck. And the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna find a little dip here. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line across. Okay, this, now this goes up, zigzag, up, and then goes to the side like this. Okay, we do the same thing on this side. So up and then across, up until you get to that side. Okay, create a bit of a ridge here. And then inside here, here's the neck. We wanna create, there's a part inside the neck that lights up, so let's just draw that part. And it just goes down and across like this, and then this goes down across and then it goes up under the mask and then this side here and another one here there you go there you go all right so just finalizing the shape of the neck here I don't know if you guys can hear the dog the neighbor's dog is barking Okay, this goes across, I'm just fixing that. Okay, so now let's go on this, this corner here and we're gonna bring that down to here. And we do the same thing on this side, going down this way. Okay, so this goes like that and this goes like this. Okay, so these are just intricate designs in on the shoulder part. So this goes up and then over. And then same thing here. But you only see it as a straight line, really. Okay, so um, let's draw some lights. I'm gonna draw a circle here. I'm gonna draw a circle on the exact same spot on this side, actually more like an oval. And then I'm going to draw a hexagon around it. Okay, same thing here. Okay, that point, the top point of the hexagon goes up and then this way. And then on this part, it goes this way. Okay, I'm gonna draw two lines going across like that. So I'm simplifying it, but that's kind of what it looks like. It goes 
down and then also goes up. Okay, right here, line going this way and then down. Okay, all right, and then here is just two ridges. I'm just going to draw it like this. Okay, so we've got that. Let's work on, let's, let's do the shoulder blade first, the shoulder armor, and then the chest plate. Okay, so the shoulder armor and the chest plate are, uh, are smooth. They don't have any, um, they don't really have any sharp edges to them. And it comes out like this. Think of it like a, um, uh, what am I trying to say here? It's a, it's like a cover for the shoulder. So it has that look like a shoulder should. And it looks like this. So you wanna try to get that nice and smooth like that okay and then here let's first draw the the arc reactor and the arc reactor kind of starts right here straight across and then two lines and then across again like that so it looks like this okay and then another line down here at the bottom right there okay so now what we have to do is we have to two diagonal lines and it's kind of like the Superman logo except it has this thing at the top like that and here so you want to make sure that these two align together like that okay so there you go I'm gonna double up on this side just to give it that 3d look and the top as well there okay from here you want to draw two lines from here to the top of the chest there like that and then a dip right here line across erase that center and then this goes to the arms okay let me zoom out a little bit so that you guys can see what I'm going to do down here and what I'm going to do is right around here and here I'm going to bring a line going down like this and like this and then it goes across like this okay I'm going to fix up the chest so that This goes across and it's slightly aligned or you want to make sure that this line goes across this way about there and then it creates this nice curvy chest here and I'm even going to make it even I'm going to make it even more prominent sticking out like that so it looks really odd for a chest shape but that's what it looks like okay there you go so there's the chest shape there okay and it does come out of this side there okay let's draw the other shoulder plate and just aligning it. I'll draw the details later on. Let's just make sure that we have this, all of this uh, done right first, the right shapes. Okay. So pause and look at the proportions of your drawing. Make sure everything looks good before you continue. All right. So there you go. Now, from here, let's break down his chest into several parts. Okay, first thing, I'm gonna draw a line down here, and then kind of similar to here, so imagine this as a rectangle. From here, this goes up again, parallel to this, and this also goes up parallel to this. Okay, this is gonna be just part of the chest plate too, I guess. But from this point, 
we're going to draw a line going down like this and like this. And we're going to draw this kind of just actually let's leave it like that for now. We'll just leave it like that right here as well. Okay. Cause this is going to be slightly, not slightly, it's going to be a little bit complicated. So let's, let's devote our time on it. Okay. So I guess let's start right here by drawing a line across, draw a line across over here as well. Okay. And then up in up across. So it just creates this shape right here. And you'll see what I mean when, when we start uh, filling it in, it's like a, a gold piece, a gold part of the costume or, or armor. So again, over here, across, diagonal up, diagonal opposite way, diagonal back out, and then just goes out like that. All right. Okay. Back, going back over here, this goes down, across, and then diagonal this way. Okay. And then over here, he's got, I don't know what they are, you know, uh, as of as of this drawing, we still don't know much about this armor. Um, we're not even sure if it's Mark 48, 49, or 50, because I think, I believe they, they all appear in Infinity War. So we're not too sure yet. Okay, so let's draw a line actually. Let's go over here. This is kind of where it gets tough to, to teach you guys how to draw. Okay, two faint lines going down. Those are gonna be our guidelines. Okay, I'm going to draw another line right here, and it just sort of goes underneath that chest plate there, or underneath this part. So this is a gray part. Okay, another one lower plus another one below it. This goes across. So I'm going to eventually get rid of these sharp corners here. I'm going to make them a little bit smoother later on, or when I ink anyway. Okay, so that goes up and then just kind of just goes across like this. Okay, same thing here. You notice that over here, this gap is a lot thinner than this gap right here. And that's fine because of his angle. Okay, this goes out. There you go. Okay. Okay, now two lines right here. Just trying to make a figure out a way to simplify this. Okay. So two lines here, here, this goes like this and then down and across or diagonal up again, and then goes like this. Okay. So it goes parallel to this slightly down and then parallel again. And then it goes across to the side like that. Right here, straight line. From here, straight line down. All right, I'm sort of saving this. This is a complicated area here. So I'm just working my way around it first. And then I'm gonna just start drawing these, filling those in. Okay, again right here. This one curves. I'm going to draw two lines going down like that. Same thing here. It's kind of curvy. Two lines. And now it goes this way and then it goes up. So now you have these three lines here. What you want to do is you want them to sort of go up like this. Okay. There should be a fourth one actually. So I'm going to draw the fourth one from there going this way, but actually sticks out right here. So I'm going to draw a line going down over here and then goes in. There you go. Okay. And then this kind of goes in this way and then down and I'm going to leave it there. So I'm going to leave my drawing, cut off my drawing right there. Okay, so here's line across and down. 
and then you don't really see much of the rest. All right, so these are all like gray areas and I can't tell you, I can't even describe them to you because I have no idea, Just they're just patterns in the costume or armor. Okay, so two more lines this way, this should be like a gold part of the costume. Same thing here, from here goes up and then this way and then to the side. Okay, goes like this and then to the side like this. Okay, so that's kind of what that looks like for now. What we're going to do now is figure out this area right here, which is the complicated area I was talking about earlier. First, I'm going to draw a line going down from here to the side like this. Okay. Okay, and each one of these lines right here, there should be like a I don't even know what they are. They're like, <clears throat> excuse me. They look like pistons. So they're these ovals that stick out. And there's four of them. There. Okay. And I'm going to draw another line right here. Okay, and then from here, I'm just going to draw the back again there, I'm just fixing the back a little, a little now, so that it goes down like that. Okay. All right. So we've got that. Let's leave it at that. And uh, actually, before anything, let's, uh, I'm just going to create this. He's got a light over here, so I'm just going to draw the top of that. There you go. And the same thing on this side here, over here. Okay. And then this just goes out. There you go. So we've got that. We've got, we still haven't added any of the details over here, but let's worry about that later on. Let's go to the arms now. So again, let's give it that nice shape. We actually want it to be segmented. So right here, the forearm kind of goes up like that. And what you want to do is you want to create this shape right here. So here's the bicep and it curls and then it goes up and then down and then up again to make the side. Okay. And then the forearm kind of goes up from here, goes this way and then down. Okay. And then this just goes down like that and it goes narrower as you go down okay from here start here goes up and then down to there that's the bicep okay from here line going this way and then from here goes down and then this goes around to the side and goes up like that okay so that's one layer the layer underneath it there's a line from here goes it actually goes parallel to this line. So it goes like that, diagonal, and then just follows this curve pattern. So here's the curve and let's take that curve and bring it this way and then across. Okay. And then another curve pattern right there. And it goes underneath the uh, shoulder plate. Okay, and then another one right there. Okay, he's got another light over here, and I'm just going to draw a hex hexagon shape for the light. Okay, let's go over here and let's work on the intricate design that he has on a forearm here. So this armor is very advanced. Let me draw a line going down first from here like that. Okay, start here, two lines across, and this goes up and diagonal to the sides here. Okay. Another line here goes up to there. And then what you want to do is you just want to draw it all the way to the edge. There. Up 
side like that and then another one here I just want to follow that pattern okay up this way looks like that and then another one here goes up this is a bit wider looks like this and then to the side like that okay and then last one so it's very complicated okay now let's go on this side let's take this and let's shape the uh, shape the shoulder so that it goes and there's a line right here okay this goes in let's figure out the center of the bicep which is right here makes that curve okay right here goes up and then starts curving as you go to the side okay here's the gray part with the line and then we'll leave it like that and then the same thing with the forearm here's the forearm goes this way okay let's figure out the rest of the arm okay there you go so again let's start right here let's, these go up I'll grab another sharper pencil here I think go off to the sides okay there you go another one goes down and then off to the sides again you want to draw these as narrow narrow as possible there you go okay another one here goes across except this time it goes this way and then up okay and then the last one here there okay and then over here goes this way and then down another one here this way and down Okay, so there you go. Now I guess we can zoom out and actually zoom into the chest and shoulder. Let's draw the patterns he's got on the chest and shoulder and we should be done, you guys. Okay, so first things first are the shoulders. I'm, I'm going to draw the side of the shoulder here where, the, where it sort of meets the, the chest and the shoulder. It starts to go in and then up like this and then back out. Now this part has an exhaust port that I'm just going to draw as a black rectangle and then just just a, a line or like a hexagon shape that wraps around it. Okay now from here I'm going to draw one, two, three lines going this way and then lines going across like this. One, two, three. Okay, right here, two lines going this way. One, one smaller, two. And let's start with the smaller one. You just want to follow the contour of the bottom of the shoulder blade or the shoulder pad till you get to the side there. Same thing over here. You just go above it, same distance. So it looks like that. Now, let's start over here, and starting over here, one line going down, line parallel to the shoulder, and then down, and then goes this way, and then down, okay? And you should come across this line right here. Follow this line now, we do the exact same thing, it goes up like that parallel and you want this one to go here okay now we do a third one just beside them and then the fourth one right here so you have these four lines along the side here and what these do is they actually have lines that go across this way and then they go down right here really narrow okay so that's what that looks like 
On this side, you don't really see much of those lines. So I'm just going to draw one line going down the side and that's it. Okay. So, but the last thing is this shoulder. And what we need to do is to do the exhaust port. Okay. Right here. The two lines going this way. And then the three lines, one, two, three at the top. Okay, let's zoom out. And that is Iron Man. This is, I believe, the Bleeding Edge armor. We still don't know the number designation. Uh, that's that, you guys. But now we're going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a bonus. You can end it here. Or if you guys want to add like the little wings that he has on the back, let's do that as well. So let me just adjust my, my stuff here. So once you have this, you're fine. You can leave it at that. But if you want to add the wings, let's go ahead and do that too. So from here, that goes out like this. And then we do the exact same thing from this point going out this way. Okay. Okay, so you want this to be higher than this. Not quite parallel. Not quite parallel to the top line here. So it's got a little bit of a, uh, a diagonal to it. Okay, same thing here. Like that. So you guys notice that this wing on, the, on his right is a lot smaller than this. And that makes sense because you, you want it to be proportional, right? And this is closer to us than this, so that should be how it is. All right, now this goes down this way. So you notice that it starts to spread out. Once you get to this point, you go diagonal this way. And then parallel to this, you want to draw a line going down. OK, same thing over here. This goes down like this, spreading out ever so slightly. Okay, once you get to this point, it goes in and then parallel again like that. All right, so we have that. Let's draw the top of it. This is kind of the top, so I'm just going to draw a line going parallel there and there, and then just an edge right there. Okay, I'm going to draw a line in between right here. I'm going to stop it right there, make this go across, and then go down here. Sorry, you want this and this to be parallel. There. Okay, let's do the exact same on this side. So first let's draw two lines, or yeah, two lines like this, and then two lines at the top. This one's going to be a little tough. Line in the middle, across, and then parallel to this, like that. Just fixing it up here. There. Okay, so now from here, he's got a line, or he's got this yellow, yellow strip that goes this way, and then down the center here. Okay, but I'm going to draw a line here, goes a little bit past, and it goes like this. So these two lines like that, this goes in, and then just goes into the, like this would be the center of it. Like this line right here, find the center, that's where you want to go. There. Okay, and then just a line going up and we'll just leave it like that. Okay, let's do the exact same thing here. So find the center there, find the center over here, make this go up and then like that. Okay, line right here and goes in and then that line like that. Then the last one is a line like this. And there you go. He's got more wings right here. So let's just draw that. 
here in the back goes diagonal up and then actually it goes like this and then like that and then you don't really see much of it that's all you see okay this goes down okay right here this goes across and then down okay from here this goes up like this and then parallel like that and then lastly right here this way parallel and then goes up there you go and then you don't see the rest of that so those are the wings let's zoom in on Iron Man again and that's it you guys we are finished and I hope you guys enjoyed this Iron Man from Infinity War, this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope your drawings turned out great. Thank you for watching. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much you guys for watching all the way to the very end of this super long tutorial video for Iron Man. And uh, I hope you guys succeeded in your Iron Man drawings. If you did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. Or go to Instagram and tag me, hashtag draw2 or tag me draw2 on Instagram so that I can see your drawings. I would love to see them there too. A lot of you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos. I have links to all of that down in the description below. So if you guys want to check out what equipment I recommend, what tools I recommend, and what stuff I'm using to film my videos. I have a list of all of that down in the description. You guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial and you would love for me to do some more, make sure to support me by hitting that like button down below, commenting, or most especially sharing this with your friends in social media. Spread the word um, so that I can continue supporting um, this channel and so that I can continue serving all of you awesome viewers and of course speaking of social media Don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook Instagram Google Plus and on my website draw2.com Where you can download a coloring page of the Iron Man drawing that we did in this tutorial So again, you guys links to all of that are down in the descriptions below Thank you once again for watching and as always Actually, I'm not going to say it. I will let this guy say it Stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too.